Dearest Laurie, Shalom. I'm Jeff Kay. What a wonderful day we have ahead of us because today we're going to be entering that incredible chemistry building that you have provided for us. But this is not real estate, it's not even location, it's a palace. It's a palace where dreamers and practitioners are going to sit together and imagine solutions to the world's greatest problems. Laurie, you have taught us a great deal. You taught us that, that there is no more important vocation than teaching. And that actually you've never given away a cent, that everything you have put into education is an investment. And you said that if you have a good education, including a college degree, you're going to be successful. And that if you fall into a lot of money like you did, you put it into the soil. You replenish the soil for next year's crop. And then you come back a couple of years later and see how it's being used. What a great feeling. When things are good in life and in a relationship, people say there's chemistry. But what is really chemistry, you may ask? Chemistry is the study of matter and energy and the interactions between them. This is not a very useful definition. It probably covers more or less everything. But I will tell you something else. Chemistry is cooking. Chemistry is building. Chemistry is making new stuff. Chemistry is thinking about molecules and understanding the world around us. I remember as an undergraduate student being in a chemistry meeting where the famous British chemist Peter Atkins gave an, an amazing lecture about entropy. And he said something that I will always remember. Just like a wine taster can sip a little bit of Cabernet Sauvignon and taste amazing taste that we as normal people cannot, the chemist looks at the world around him and he sees things that other normal people cannot see. When you see this beautiful new building here and the chemical symbols that adorn it, the first thing that comes to my mind is how amazing our world is, made of all these elements. But what many people don't know is that the elements that are here were carefully chosen by the faculty of the chemistry department at Ben Gurion University. And for example, if you look at the top right corner there, you will see the symbol of ruthenium. I chose that element because it has allowed me to discover cool new things and cool new ways to do catalysis and even to make novel materials with 3D printing. I am very excited to finally have all of the chemistry department united under one roof. This amazing gift given to us by Lori Loke and the university will allow us to continue the amazing growth of the department to become one of the best chemical institutes in the world. Lori Loquet is a unique individual, a genius in the world of business, a genius in the world of philanthropy. He has dedicated his life not to building palaces for himself, but for building palaces for research and for higher education. I'm sure that in another life, he could have used that genius to be a professor of chemistry, a researcher of life here in this building at Ben Gurion University of the Negev. I am so thankful that he decided to partner with Ben Gurion University to build this most impressive building of chemistry. The chemistry department here at BGU is a paradigm of excellence. We have assembled here the best young cadre of faculty, of researchers, of anywhere in Israel. As the university reaches into its next 50 years, this paradigm of excellence will be an example for all the other departments of where we are trying to lead ourselves what we strive to be. I'm so thankful to Lori for making this dream come true. I'd also like to thank and acknowledge former President Rivka Karmi, who shepherded this project from the beginning, and to the Director General David Bereket, who helped this dream become a reality that we are now sitting in. Lori, I look forward to hosting you here in this building, and probably before then, visiting you in California where we could talk about the wonderful things going on and what we still have to do to make your dreams come true. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher kidishanu b'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu l'kvoa mezuzah. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, שהחיינו וקיימנו וגיינו לזמן הזה.
Lori, I'm so sorry you can't be with us physically, but join us here in your mind with your energies. We'll pull this off together. One, two, three. The Lori I. Loke Chemistry Building 2021. Dear Mr. Loke and family, dear colleagues and friends, I'm happy to stand here today together with four excellent graduate students in our brand new laboratory located in the new chemistry department building at Ben Gurion University. As already mentioned by the university president and by our dean, we, the department faculty and staff, are all very excited to be moving our labs and offices to the new building after so many years. More than 40 years to be exact. Now all research groups will be located close together, fostering cooperation and discussion among researchers, allowing us to share state-of-the-art equipment, enabling us to devise new essays and experiments. Over the past two decades, the chemistry department has grown and strongly succeeded in research and education. And we are now one of the best departments in Israel and very well known throughout the world. The evidence is in the many prizes and fellowships received by our students and faculty and in the highly prestigious research grant we win almost every year. On behalf of my fellow chemists, I would like to thank the university leadership, the president, the rector, the director general for their continuous generous support towards our department and particularly for their help and cooperation in the completion of our new building. I would like to thank the many people that have helped us make this happen. The university workers from the construction department, the department faculty, the technical and administrative staff. Special thanks go to Professor James Becker, who almost single-handedly ran the entire show for us. James, you are still on duty until we really finish the job. And finally, of course, we'd like to thank you, Mr. Laurie Lockay, for your generous support in bringing our department dream into reality. With this, we will now turn to hear from our faculty. Dear friends, I am Lea Geber, a faculty member here in the department, working on molecular nanomachines. I began my bond by connection with this department back in 1984, when I started my first degree here, and then continued to master's and PhD here and returned as a faculty member in 2005. Since these very early days, the department was spread all over the campus in all these buildings, and this interfered with the interactions between people and with our science. This is why I understand the significance of this move. I am excited to move into our new building where we, our groups and students can meet, collaborate, and exchange ideas. I have no doubt that as a result of this move, our science will thrive and flourish, and we will train and educate the new generation of Israeli chemists. I'm Michael Miner, Professor of Chemical Biology and the previous Chair of the, of the Chemistry Department. Um, of course, these are challenging times, but it's really important uh, to look forward to something. And uh, of course, here we have something really fantastic to look forward to. Um, we're about to enter one of the most advanced and most beautiful chemistry buildings in the whole world. And um, that's, I'm very proud to be a member of this department in these times. Uh, now, my group uh, studies very fundamental questions of uh, chemical communication between organisms. And this is really a combination of uh, very different fields like organic chemistry, biophysical chemistry, uh, biological chemistry, and analytical chemistry. And now here in the new building, uh, groups from all these different disciplines will be together, close to each other, and uh, we'll be able to use the tools of all these uh, different groups. Um, and hopefully soon we'll uh, reap the fruits of this new ecosystem. Uh, all of us. So uh, let me say thank you to everybody that helped uh, making this possible and in particular to Professor James Becker for his endless efforts over the, all the years to make the building perfect and uh, good luck, good health and great success to everybody. Dear Mr. Loke, dear friends, my name is James Becker. I joined BGU and the chemistry department in 1975. My major field of interest has been in organic and organosilicon electrochemistry. Now I am an active professor emeritus. Somewhere around 2005, we heard the exciting news from our former president that a gracious donor by the name Lori Loquet 
is willing to help us build a new chemistry building. For planning it, I was nominated to be the mediator between the architect and project manager and the faculty members. During the years of planning and construction, that were resumed in 2014 after world economic crisis, I have felt fortunate as well as delighted to have this exciting opportunity of serving my chemistry department and the university, which have always been my second home. Today, we are full of pride to have a nice and modern new chemistry building, truly state of the art. Thank you again, Mr. Locke, for your generous contribution for advancing our scientific education. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Locke. Um, this is a beautiful uh, donation, uh, very uh, generous, and we are all very grateful to you. Um, it's too bad that you cannot actually watch this beautiful building uh, that we're moving into. Uh, as a vice president, vice president for the research and development at the university, I'm uh, confident that this building will uh, contribute to uh, further excellence of uh, this department and to do the best science we can. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Shalom and best wishes from Hazardon, California. I'm Lori Loke, and my grant made this beautiful new chemistry building possible. It is one of the best investments I've made. And you might wonder why, because I've made a lot of investments into a lot of buildings in a lot of schools. I made this investment because I'm betting on the future for what Ben-Gurion University offers Israeli students. Ben-Gurion University is on the edge of the desert. Ben-Gurion himself said at one time or more, the desert is Israel's future. And Ben-Gurion being on the edge of that future has a wonderful opportunity to, to educate and prepare for life 5,000 new students a year. And out of those 5,000, several hundred will be going into chemistry each year. Can you imagine over the next 100 years that this building exists? Can you imagine 300 or 400 or 500 students a year. I mean, that, that we're looking at 15,000 kids benefiting from this building over the years to come, and probably a lot more than that. And from that total are going to be some future world famous chemists who have done things to improve life, to save lives, to build lives. And that's what Ben-Gurion University is. It's to build lives and to make the world a better place. That's why we go to colleges and universities. Israel is fortunate. It has so many wonderful, wonderful universities for its population. Weissman, Technion, Haifa, Tel Aviv, Ben Gurion. This is great. Can you believe a little tiny country with 8 million people almost, that a country with that many, that few a number of people with so many wonderful universities? And Ben Gurion in the 20 years since I first saw it, has become such a magnificent institution. It, it, its future is bright. Its students are brilliant. 
and the world is a better place because of Ben Gurion University. I'm thrilled to be able to give this little talk today. I wish I could be there. I might look 80, but I'm 94, and I have very few years left, only 117. People ask me, why not 118 for good luck? I said I didn't want to push my luck too much, but I hope that I do reach that age so I can continue to make grants to universities like Ben Gurion. In fact, I hope the day comes when I can make another grant to Ben Gurion and make it even better yet. Consider what you have and can you spare a few dollars a month to support schools like Ben Gurion? Because when you do that, you build the future. And that's what is important to me. The future is bright for all of us. The virus will go away. It won't last forever, but we will. We are Jewish. We've been around for 4,000 years. We created the notion that there is one God and he looks after us. And some people said, will say she looks after us, whatever. We are the originators of monotheism. And to that extent, we carry a responsibility, not only to ourselves, but to others. And this chemistry building is my way of contributing to others. Shalom, good luck, best wishes, and sayonara. Laurie, you are so well known for having signed the Giving Pledge. Today is our turn to pledge to you. We are pledging that we will cherish your investment forevermore and that we will never miss a single moment in our quest to make the world a better place. Thank you so much for everything.